Hello guys, today we have woken up very early in the morning and today we are going to be doing another travel video. Today we are going to be traveling at the bomb blast, bomb blast site in the in CBD, the former US embassy that was bombed. We are going to tour the memorial park and see what it what it has in store for us. Let's go. I hope you'll enjoy. This is the park, as you can see, there are a lot of green grass, so you can do picnics and other stuff. Picnics are allowed here. This is the wall where they commemorate all those people who died in the August 7th Memorial Park. All names are written here, and you can honor them by putting flowers and stuff. As you can see, this stone was built to commemorate those people who died in the U former U.S. This is a nice place, as you can see. There are a lot of grass and chairs now for we the... are approaching the entrance, and as you can see, it really looks good. So this is how the entrance looks. And remember, for the museum, we only pay a hundred to view in this wall we can see special people who have visited here like the prime minister former u.s president barack obama and other special visitors who have visited the 7th august memorial park as you can see these are the photos of those who have visited and some even where they have declarations and stuff of for obama to visit this place it shows that they really mourn the people who died in the 7th August Memorial Park. Now let's enjoy the photos. <laughs> This ball contains scribbles encouraging people to live in with peace. You can put your scribbles here as long as you encourage people to live in peace. Now let's learn more about the Memorial Park. We start with these things which are written there. They are mostly peace things and what we have learned from the terror attack. Now we go to the first section. The first section starts by how the day 7th August started as normal. Everything was being carried as usual, but they didn't know what was going to be happening. The embassy was doing work as usual, but they did not know what they were, what was to happen. Then, now it goes to the second section where the bombing happened, and it shows the building and the history. As, as we were bombed, the embassy of U.S. also in Tanzania was bombed. So these are the pictures of the bombing and how the buildings look. This here is a case which contains glass that was shattered after the bombing. Now we go to the rescue. After the bombing, we started by local rescuing where first aid people from Kenya started rescuing people who were affected and were in the raffles. Then we were joined by Israel and this now we are showing how people died. The tall uh, yeah a lot of people died in this bombing. So this is all history. Yeah, after that we go to the world morning about the U.S. Embassy bombing and all the stuff, relatives morning and all of that. You can see some pictures here and I think you can get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So here is where we were supposed to watch a film of that, but I'll let you when you go there, you watch it. And now these are the people 
who survived and now they were removing testimonies yeah you can see like that woman over there crying and saying thanks god i survived but what i saw was it was not normal yeah so this is all about the museum so let's do a recap From a peaceful garden to a museum that encourages people to live with peace, we have definitely learned a lot from the Aga 7th Memorial Park. If you like to visit here, remember the charges are 30 bob for the park and 100 to view the museum. And like other museums, here you are free to take photos and view all around with no, with no restriction. So make sure you visit the place. If you enjoyed this travel video, make sure to leave a like and share the video. See you next time in another travel video. Bye!